2024 is gonna be the craziest year we have ever seen for AI. And if you're in the right place and you're focusing on the right online business when it comes to AI, you're gonna end up making a lot of money. Now in today's video, I wanna give you my predictions in terms of what I think is gonna happen with AI, where the world's heading, where I think the best opportunities are, and where I'm gonna be focusing my time, as well as how you can best align yourself to make sure that you are one of those people that end up making money this year with AI. Now, if you watch this channel, you would know that we run an AI automation agency. And if you have seen videos about AI automation agencies and you're still wondering what the hell is that, don't worry, it will all become very, very clear today. So let's recap a little bit. Over the last year, we've seen AI go from pretty much zero to hero, pretty much within 12 months. We saw the rise of ChatGPT. We saw all of these weird and wonderful businesses that people were creating online. You know, people are making art with Midjourney and selling it on Etsy. Maybe they're making art and then put it on t-shirts and selling it on their e-commerce store. We had people that were doing copywriting with AI. We had businesses in the real world that were utilizing AI inside of their business, helping them increase efficiencies and make more money. The opportunities were endless and it was so good to see so many pioneering business owners and online entrepreneurs that were taking AI and trying to find out how they could use it for themselves. Now, a few months back, we had the OpenAI Dev Day and what was really astonishing for me was the fact that OpenAI openly said that they're working with 92% of all Fortune 500 companies, helping them build some form of AI solution for their business. Now, what does this mean? Well, this means that all of the top dogs are pretty much open to using AI. They're looking at ways that they can increase efficiency with AI solutions. And for me, 2024 is the year that all other businesses start to recognize that and start to utilize it for themselves. Now, last year we had a ton of off the shelf platforms, the likes of VoiceFlow, BotPress, Make, Zapier, all of these different platforms that all utilize AI and can help us build these AI solutions inside of our own businesses. Now, as an AI automation agency owner, that's exactly what we did. We stepped inside of businesses, we helped identify pain points, and then we built custom AI solutions around those pain points to ensure that we could help businesses generate more leads or manage their leads in a smarter way or create content faster. There were so many different AI tools that were out there on the market and so many different solutions that now exist that it makes using AI literally a no-brainer if you are a business owner. Now, like I said, a ton of other people were making money doing other things with AI you know, using it inside of their freelance businesses, using it behind a e-commerce product on Etsy. There were lots of ways of making money online, but for me, the best way and the best way moving forward in 2024 is gonna be building an AI automation agency. If we look at where the world is heading right now, we have Microsoft investing $10 billion into OpenAI. We have Amazon investing over $4 billion into AI. We've even got Apple coming out with their own language model called Ferret, which, who knows, maybe Siri's gonna be doing our washing next week. But honestly, like all of these big companies are stepping into AI and they're investing a lot of money. This tells us that if the big guys are paying attention to this, they're seeing the opportunity of the efficiencies that can be built with AI. They're seeing the opportunities to maybe transfer away from a manual labor workforce, replacing workforces with AI isn't that far away from the future in my opinion. 2024 is gonna be both eye-opening in a pretty scary way and an exciting way. If you were working in the creative field, maybe you're a graphic designer or maybe you are a lawyer, I'm sure you're sat there thinking, yeah, I can kind of see how AI could potentially in the next few years be doing exactly what I'm doing. And that is scary to a lot of people. And I personally feel like this is where a lot of the businesses are allocating their time and focus because they understand this too. Now, although that may sound terrifying and I'm definitely not the guy to be sat here saying, you're all gonna lose your jobs in 2024. I don't think that's gonna be the case, but what AI will do is it will enhance the workforce. It will take away the mundane jobs that potentially don't need to be there or we don't need to have humans doing anymore. You look at McDonald's, for example, there was literally an automated McDonald's where from the whole process of placing an order to the burger build was all handled by AI. So what is that gonna look like in the next few years? And this is why it's so important that you understand this and you watch this video so you can start to realize the opportunities that we have at hand with AI and you can start to plan to ensure that you don't get caught out and you don't get fired from your job and you have no clue in terms of where you can go or what's even going on in the world. Because sadly, that is the case for a lot of people. Hopefully, if you're watching this video, that isn't you. But if all of this was happening last year, when AI is still in its infancy, 
What is it going to look like in the next few years? We're going to start to see way more advanced solutions and way more advanced tech. When it comes to integrating AI into your business, it's going to be crazy. And the rate of growth in the AI space is unmatched. So we are really going to see a lot of changes in the next 12 months. And if you are the person who sat behind an AI automation agency and you're building these solutions for businesses, our tech stack and our solutions that we can go and offer to these business owners is just going to keep growing and growing and growing. So that is something to be incredibly excited about in 2024. We're going to have way more solutions that we can go and sell businesses. And also mass adoption is going to start happening, in my opinion. We're going to see more and more business owners start to realize that they can be using AI. They can utilize AI to help them generate money or save more time. And we are going to be the companies that sit there and help these business owners actually start using these different solutions that exist or that we go and then build them. Now, obviously, with mass adoption, there's a good side and there's a bad side. I'm 100% sure we're going to see some crazy stuff going on with deep fakes. You know, you can literally go and clone someone's voice, face, everything and put them in a video using AI right now. What is that going to look like in 12 months time? You know, we've got the US election coming up pretty scary time if deep fakes are running rampant online but at the same time with that we are going to need more regulation and that is probably something that we're going to see and you know who knows is there going to be regulations around businesses and how they use ai who knows what it's going to look like i have no clue but hopefully there will be some form of regulation and hopefully we find a way to stop the deep fakes i personally think you have three massive opportunities this year when it comes to ai so number one is obviously an ai automation agency that's exactly what we do we work with business owners to understand what bottlenecks they have inside of their business and then we see if we can build solutions or find solutions off the shelf that they can then start to use with ai that solve their bottlenecks now from these solutions that we're building custom with our dev team we actually take those solutions and turn them into SaaS products on the back end so once we've been paid to build something we'll actually take that solution and turn it into a software that we can then go and take to the industry or the niche that we're in and actually start to mass market. Now, this is something that we've done several times now, and we're at a point where we're starting to productize a lot of the solutions that we've already built for our other clients. Now, this gives us an opportunity to, in 12 months time, potentially take exits on these SaaS products that we're building. And I can't really think of another industry where this is possible right now. We're essentially coming up with brand new ideas and then turning them into SaaS products that people are desperate to use and they really, really need. So that is a huge opportunity in this space. Now, whether you wanna bypass the entire agency side of things or the consultancy side of things and just go to SaaS, that's also a great option. And there's a lot of people making a lot of money doing that right now. Now, the best thing that I did last year in the AI space was creating content. This content has fueled our agency. It has got us so many clients. It has got us on so many sales calls. It's increased our network. It's got us exposure to people that I would never have dreamed of meeting before. And I can safely say that this YouTube channel has been the best investment that I've ever made. So in the AI space, when it comes to creating content, there is so much opportunity right now to blow up your channel relatively quickly in comparison to other industries. Now, I'm not saying you need to go out and you need to start making videos just like this, but if you look at creators like Matt Wolf or you look at creators like Wes Roth, these guys are just commentating on AI updates and AI news, and they've grown hundreds and thousands of subscribers in what would be considered a relatively quick time compared to other YouTubers. So this just goes to show that the hype of AI is so intense right now that if you go and start producing content on AI, whether that be short form on Instagram or TikTok or written formats inside of email newsletters or LinkedIn or Twitter, maybe even long form just like this YouTube channel, then you are gonna have a massive opportunity to literally blow up as a personal brand in the AI space, which can then fuel so many different things you do. Maybe you do work with businesses and you help build them solutions, that is gonna get you clients. Maybe you do have a SaaS product that you are trying to sell to the market, that is going to get you clients. So if you are sat there and you are debating whether you should start producing content, the AI space is literally the number one space for you to be making content right now. You do have to be interested in it. I'm obsessed with what's going on and I see the future of AI. So it makes it very, very easy to make this type of content. So all in all, 2024 is gonna be a big one. We're gonna see a big shift up in the workforce. We're gonna see way more advanced solutions coming out and way more opportunity to sell these into certain clients. 
and we're gonna see a ton more AI content creators coming out there and putting their name on YouTube, making their stamp on the world. Now, if you wanna align yourself to be that person and you wanna ensure that you are at the forefront of everything that's happening this year, then there are a few things that you need to make sure that you do. Number one is you wanna be consuming the right content. Go and watch the right channels on YouTube. Look at Matt Wolf, look at Wes Roth, look at this channel, look at what we're doing. But you also need to identify what it is you're trying to achieve. Now, in my case, I'm obsessed with business. That's all I care about. So regardless of whether it's AI or crypto, I care about the businesses behind it and how this different technology has an influence on these businesses. So for me, I'm gonna be producing content around that and I'm gonna be watching content around people that care about business. So for you, if you wanna build an AI automation agency, then you should watch channels on AI automation agencies. But the key thing is to actually execute on what you're learning. There's no point just watching these channels all day long. If you're sat here watching my videos and you go back to back to back to back and then you just go to sleep afterwards or you go out with your friends, it's not gonna get you very far. You need to watch a few videos, take information, take notes, collect data, and then go and execute on that data. It's the only way this is gonna work for you. Number two is you need to become an expert at sales and marketing. It is not enough for you to understand AI or for you to be a developer. You need to know how to then package up whatever service or whatever product you've built or whatever product you're trying to sell and actually be able to go and sell it, right? So sales and marketing is number one. It comes before anything else in my opinion. You may have created the best product in the world, the best AI SaaS platform that anyone's ever seen. But if you don't know how to get in front of the right clients or you don't know how to sell that as a service, you stand no chance. So make sure you become a master at sales and marketing in 2024. Read books, watch videos. Alex Ramosi is your guy. Just go and follow what he says. Literally pick up his book and take notes. Again, take notes collect data, and then execute on that data. And number three is take the leap. 2024 is a brand new, fresh year for you. I 100% promise you now, if you take a back step on this for the next six months and you don't start to take action inside of these different AI businesses and AI opportunities that are in front of us, you are gonna miss out. This market is filling up day by day. There are more and more agencies being built. There are more and more content creators coming out of the woodwork. So if you are sleeping and if you're too scared to take the leap or you're working at a job that you hate and you're scared of quitting, then you are gonna get left behind. And for me, this is probably one of the biggest opportunities that we will ever see in our lifetime. I really don't think you're gonna see a bigger opportunity than AI. We had the internet, we now have AI, and I think AI is gonna transform the world as we know it more than the internet has. So take the leap, stop being a pussy, and get out of your comfort zone. I know it may sound scary, but what's scarier? You work in a job that you hate where you could end up being replaced by AI in the next 12 months or you building something else on the side, investing in knowledge and investing in yourself and then giving something a shot. At least you could say that you gave it a go. Like the worst thing you can do is not give it a go and sit on the sidelines and watch everyone else win and foul and then you will never know whether or not it was gonna work for you. Guys, I know this was a bit of a rant video today. I just wanted to get my thoughts down in terms of where I see the opportunities being in 2024 when it comes to AI. Honestly, this is going to be a crazy, crazy year, especially for those of you who are building an AI automation agency. The opportunity is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And if you've been in it for the last year, you would have learned so many core skills that are gonna be translatable this year. So I'm super, super excited for you guys. And it really is just a case of keeping up with the times and ensuring that you're prioritizing sales and marketing so that you can get in front of the right people and actually execute on the things that you've been learning and the different AI tools and solutions that exist. Now, if in 2024, you are gonna start an AI automation agency, let me know down below in the comments. And if you're not, like the video. Yeah, got you. You didn't think I was gonna say that, did you? Anyway, catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.